Good morning, peeps. It is November the 27th, and this is what Margate is looking like today. It's grey, it's rainy, and it's miserable, but it's not as cold as it has been recently. This is my view from my one of my bedroom windows, and basically, guess where I'm off to? I'm going to sunnier climbs. I'm off to Jamaica, peeps. Yes, Margate girl is off to Jamaica. So, I'm getting out of this cold weather because apparently this year it's going to be the coldest winter yet for years. So I'm going to be missing it because I'm gone for three months. But at the moment, I made a little bit of packing, my last packing, because I need to get on a coach around about 12-ish. So come with me, peeps. What's up going peeps? So like I said I'm in the middle of packing and I don't know whether you watched my previous video but it was all about packing a barrel to go to Jamaica. If you've seen my other video, well this is part two, instead of shipping to the actual um, shipping yard in, in Kingston and going to pick it up, I'm going to have it shipped direct to where I'm staying. So that's the huge difference and I don't think a lot of people do that for barrels. I know they do it if they're shipping to go home and they have a whole container with clothes, clothes and furniture and all that kind of nonsense, but mine's is purely for my stay. So that'll be interesting. But anyway, but one of the things I didn't put in there, because last time I did boxes. Now I don't know whether it barrel or boxes makes a difference with saltfish, because this is saltfish, if you if you don't know. But um with saltfish. I found when I packed it in the boxes, it wasn't as fresh as it should have been when it came out. But when I packed it at the bottom of the barrels, which I did previously prior to doing last year's video, um, I found that saltfish stayed fresher. So that's the difference. Boxes and barrels are different when you're packing, basically. I think the barrels are a lot more stable, but the boxes, there's advantages to both and disadvantages to both. Because the boxes, you can get away with a lot more. I mean, one box, you could fill two perils worth, but yeah. So anyway, I'm going to have to pack this in my suitcase. I'm packing this morning. I thought I'd wait till the last minute. These have been in the fridge. I'll wait till the last minute and pack them in my suitcase. I don't know where I'm going to squeeze them in because as you can see over there, I'm packing. And there's one suitcase there and there's the other one. So I'm going to have to squeeze six packets of saltfish into this suitcase and this is going to be funny because I know I'm overloaded already but because I'm going for three months I've got to make sure I've got enough stuff so I always pack if I'm going for three months I pack a month's worth of clothes so but I want to bring some camera equipment and I want to bring my laptop and I want to bring other stuff as well so it's like it's finally gotten to the stage where it's really packed now but what's a girl to do I'm going to have to squeeze it in and do the Jamaican thing and squeeze the food in the suitcase. <laughs> so, the next time you'll probably see me is probably when I'm leaving through the door. So, I'll check you later, peeps. What's up, going, peeps? I finally reached to Jamaica. But I've been here a week and I've got flu. You can hear it in my voice. I've still got it and I can't talk too much. But, just to let you know, I actually landed. I didn't think I was going to do it. I thought about doing the airport thing and getting on the plane and all that but I did that last time and I can't be bothered to be fair so yeah I'm in my little hotel at the moment I'm just gonna go and hit the rub because I need something for this because I've got a really dry throat and it's a really dry cough so I'm gonna go down to the pharmacy but I might hit the beach for the first time I thought <coughs> just to go and have a look so yeah why don't you come with me peeps what's up on peeps so this is the outside of my cottage and this is what it looks like where I'm staying. It's quite lush and green. They look after it. But unfortunately the road out there is not too nice at all. So, um, but I'll show you what the cottage looks like. So, come with me peeps. Because I'm going to have to go out the road anyway. So, I've got my own little path. And then I'm going to turn around. I don't know if you can see it from here. But 
yeah, it's just a little cottage. I stayed in that one last time, but because of my arthritis, I've got arthritis in one knee, A, I need to keep it mobile, and B, me and the stairs is not friend anymore, so yeah. But this is what the resort looks like. There's some more cottages over there hidden by the trees. So come with me, peeps. What's up, well, peeps? I'm here talking to a uh, friend I've just made. What's your name? Benjamin. Oh, sorry. Let me bring it out. Oh, That's it. You're videoing. Yeah, I'm videoing you, Benjamin. Oh, yeah. Oh, you were going to take and we were just chopping it up. I'm on the beach at the moment. I'm just chopping it up with Benjamin. We're having a little chat about Jamaica yes. and we both do. We're both doing Airbnb. Would you believe? Yes. <laughs> So, so yeah, I've just met him and we were just chatting on the beach about chopping up and putting the world to rights, so yeah. So look out for me on Airbnb and <laughs> this will be my co-host, she will be my co-host. Oh, but you hiring me already? Yes, she's hired. She's I'm officially hired. hired in Jamaica. What's up, Guan peeps? I'm on the beach. I've been here all afternoon, would you believe? It's around about four o'clock now, isn't it? Is it round for four o'clock? Yeah. I'm here with my, I'm still here with my friend. So hello. Hi. <laughs> We're just chatting and we've been here all afternoon. But this is my first adventure on the beach because I've been sick. And the first day of our venture out and this is what it looks like. It'll soon be sunset actually. I wouldn't mind watching the sunset, but I might have to make my way back soon. But yeah, this is what it's looking like. I call this my meditation spot. <laughs> but yeah. While we've been sitting on the beach, there's this crab that pops his head out every now and then like he's watching us. Flick something at him, see if he moves. He's not moving, is he? Oh, see there? He's gone again. But he pops his head out every couple of minutes like he's watching us. While we're on the beach chatting. <laughs> Mr. Crab. What's up going peeps? I'm still on the beach chopping it up. Just chilling out. I've been here all afternoon. And it looks like I'm even gonna be here sunset. My friend's just gone to get me some water because my throat is still bothering me. I'm still got cold, I'm still dying. But look what I'm watching. Look at this view. Fantastic, isn't it? I'm just wishing I could get in the water because I'm so hot right now. And it's about half past four and I might as well just wait for the sunset because it's so nice here. Fantastic. So yeah, I'm just going chilling and that's where I'm coming from. That's where I'm staying, all the way back down there. And I've just walked around here to the beach but this is seven miles of beach. Look, it goes on forever. Can you see that? I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can see a little bit, but yeah, it goes on forever. Look at that. And yes, I'm testing a new camera. So this is all new to me as well. Um, yeah, which I might do a review on. It's a good month. It's a good amount of money, but it's got a flippable screen and all that. But yeah, this is what I'm checking out. This is what I'm looking at and it's fantastic. So yeah, let's see if we, if I stay here long enough to see the sunset. Over and not beeps. My friend's gonna do some exercising on the beach. I'm gonna catch and he doesn't realize yet. He's just drinking the tent trench so that he can put his feet in. So he's gonna do some, I think he's gonna do some planks or some sit-ups. But he's jigging himself a trench. And he doesn't realize that I'm feeling him at the moment. <laughs> I was just playing on the portable um, travel speaker at the moment. So I was just... doing it literally in the sea. Mm. I caught him doing it. I just realised I'm taping him now. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, ain't messing about, he's serious. <laughs> I don't know if he minds me taping it, but I'm taping it because look at that body. <laughs> These 
you making people look older than what they are? We've been sitting there talking all afternoon, right? And he's like an old soul, and he's only, this guy is only 26, can you believe it? Only 26, but he's a really old soul, and he's got his head screwed on, it looks like. And um, funny enough, we were talking about Airbnb, because he's actually setting up an Airbnb, he's got some land, he's got a house on it, and he was just showing me pictures of, in Bluefield, which is not too far from here. Yeah. He ain't messing about with this exercise, though, is he? <laughs> Anyway, that's enough of that.